You have published 233 episodes as we're recording now. You publish every single week. Um, did you ever do more than once a week? Or did you ever do less than once a week? Or has it been consistent like 100% of the time without fail? No, I start off every other week. And it was actually a very other. nice pace for me. Yeah, I liked it. Every week is kind of demanding, but I am doing it every week. And probably three or four times possibly during the year, I reload a, an episode from a few prior years before just to kind of give myself a break, but I start off every other week. Okay. So uh, is it been about four or five, six years since you launched? Do you, what, how long ago did you start? Yeah, I, I really need to go back and look. I think it was 2018. Wow. I think it was 2018. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll call and it more I, than five years, more than five years. Yeah. It, I, I've never really considered myself such a seasoned podcast, but podcaster, but I'm starting to feel that way. I, I think that as you introduce me, it's really interesting because I think the very human thing is to compare yourself to other podcasters. And Well, is 68 reviews good enough? Why don't I have 68,000 and that and all <laughs> that? And I feel like part of this journey is just doing what is you and being okay with how it unfolds. So I could tie myself up in a wad going, I don't have enough because somebody else has more. There's always going to be somebody who has more, right? So I really appreciate that you're you're letting me know that that's pretty darn good. Yeah. And, and it and it definitely is. And not only that, but the amount of episodes, the, the, the consistency of publishing for five and a half, six years straight is another huge thing that, that not everybody can say. A lot of people that I've met have told me that they started a podcast and they they got five episodes in, they got 10 or they got 20 episodes in and then they quit. And I always ask, why did you quit? And a lot of it is because of something you said. It's because they are always comparing themselves and they think that they should be further ahead. They think that, oh, I've, I've done 20 episodes. I should have a million followers already. And it's really comes to that consistency that I think is going to make the biggest difference. I've got one tattoo and it talks about being persistent and determined because that's how we get endless potential. And for you, you've been going and going and going, regardless if you thought you had 68,000 or, or 68 ratings. And I'm curious for the listener's sake, what do you do or what have you done or how do you look at it to just keep going even when you might get discouraged, like everybody does. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's interesting because I was, I've been listening to your podcast and pulling out little pieces that, that could be helpful to me. But I think like, I've been thinking, what is it about me and my podcast? I listened to one where somebody spoke about being in service to their, uh, their listeners. And I thought, is that me? And I really kind of came to sort of, for me, I'm in service to my message. So it's different. I, I'm in service to my message in a way. And my message is hope and awakening and um, inspiration. And we're living in a crazy world. So everyone needs a little dose of that. And I, I have thought that I'm in service for, to my listeners. I've thought that I'm in service to the people I'm interviewing. But I really think it's the message. So when I get approached by a lot of people to be on my podcast, I get a lot of requests and they're often authors. They're often, like I said, filmmakers, but mostly authors. And I really look at, does this support the message that I am wanting to convey in the world? And if it does, I have those people on. I've had my own frustrations about, oh, am I being compensated enough? Am I being appreciated? <laughs> All that stuff. It, it, you know, is there a balance of energy here? And I've just kind of surrendered to, I'm here to convey a message of hope, inspiration, and awakening and helping people rise up in consciousness. And that's what I'm committed to. So I don't get stuck anymore like I used to into all of the details of, am I getting enough from this? Am I doing this right? Should I have this more? Should I have that more? I, I'm just like, I'm just like here to convey a message. <laughs> 